All right. So you get to the nitro the next day. Uh, I imagine call time is early afternoon. Um, uh, I've, I was never backstage at a nitro. You, you were backstage at raw, you know, every week for almost decades. How different, what, how different was it backstage at a WCW event in 1997 compared to say WWE in a more modern era like today? Mm-hmm. Well, there wasn't the, um, mass overproducing that goes on at a WWE event, you know, backstage or all SmackDown. Um, everybody was still kind of in charge of, of the content of their promos and, and their matches and all that stuff. It wasn't micromanaged. Um, and when I get there, I immediately go and I, and I get talked to Rick and I say, you know, I think we should pull the trigger on the Kurt thing because I, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to make it back. And I know he's thinking, <clears throat> oh, bullshit, but I said, I've got kind of the makings of a, a goodbye. You know, I, it wasn't a promo to me. It never was a, a promo. It never became a promo. It never was supposed to be a promo. It was just me going out and just thanking everybody for, you know, all the fans that had helped me live a, a childhood dream and, and a adult male dream. They had, you know, but it and now had to abruptly come to an end. And I just wanted to say thank you. And that that's kind of all I had in my head as a rough draft going out there. And I asked Eric, you know, do you mind if I go out and especially if we're going to put Kurt in that spot. And I think at that particular time, we, everyone was still on board with making Kurt a horseman. He said, okay. I said, well, how much time can I have? And he said, you know, I trust you. Take whatever time you need. And he really did. And he smiled at me and he walked off. So at this point, we I, think uh, Kurt's going to be a horseman. And uh, <coughs> Rick's maybe not so sure that you're really done. And obviously, he's an optimist. He thinks you're going to be able to figure out a way to fix this. Um Eric's going to give you the time. Do you go talk to anybody else beforehand? Do you go sit down with Kurt before you make this promo? Or is this all just shooting from the hip for the first time when we saw it on? Um, I talked to Kurt and, um, I just said, you know, I I got something in my head, you know, and I'm, I won't have it till I get out there, but you know, if you will just play off of me, um, and just accept, you know, just, you know, uh, be a horseman, you know, let, let this be another, another deal in your life. Cause on a shoot, we had talked about it and he said, yeah, I'd love to be with you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, I like to have fun. You guys like to have fun. You guys, you know, the work rate, everything, it was all perfect fit. And, uh, that's really the only broad strokes that I gave him is, is we'll bring you down and, uh, and well, if you'll just play off of what I got at the time, cause I really don't have it verbatim right now in my head and I'm not going to go out there with it verbatim in my head. And he said, sure, I'll just play off of you. And, um, most people have always wondered, Hey, was that script? Did somebody write that for you? Or did you write that for yourself? Did you, you know, did you rehearse it? I went through that curtain <clears throat> with the, the broad strokes that we just have talked about and, uh, that's it. And it just came to me and the emotion was so real because it was true. It was hundred percent accurate. I knew I wouldn't be back in six months or six years or, you know, people in this business, they retire all the time. It's an angle. They, um, you know, it's time to move on from a particular company and a company will retire them or whatever. And they'll pop up six months later somewhere else. I knew this was it. And it was the only time I would ever retire. It would be legitimate and it would be from now on. And 37 years old, that's a hard pill to swallow. But, uh, I had the, I had grips on it and, um, I'd pretty much resolved myself to, it was over and, uh, you get out there and thank God Rick was kind of off to the side and I couldn't see his face and I was able to pull it off, um, and just wing the whole thing. Don't ask me how, but it just, it was kind of those voices that had been battling inside my head back and forth 
called a truce and said, okay, you know what? Why don't we just help him get through this? 